Hello and welcome back to the Test Modeler 101 video series. In this installment we're going to look at how you can create a new workspace and project and navigate around that workspace. Once you log in for the first time you will be prompted to create a new workspace. So give this workspace a name and click. When you first enter the workspace you will be met with a wizard to allow you to come through and create your first project. So I'm just going to come through and give this project a name, hit next step, and we get the option to select a particular type of automation that we want to do. More information about these, these automation frameworks can be found in later episodes. But for now, I'm going to select web automation. You will also be pointed to the relevant automation tutorial. And then we can come through and hit create model. Your first model has been created. We can come through and lock the model. And there are a couple of prompts with how to get started with building these models. More information about how we can build models can be found in later episodes. But for now, let's go back to the, the menus and we'll do a quick tour of, of the workspace. So on the left hand side, we have the Explorer. This is where all of your models and modules will be held. We also have data lists. These are mini spreadsheets inside of Test Modeler that you can use to store data that you need for testing. Under the Tests tab, you can come in and view any previous test executions or set up test plans to run on a schedule. Then under Management, you can see all your existing projects inside of the workspace and Profile and Workspace offer more customization options 